was young, I always wanted to move to Kuala Lumpur because it's the capital city of Malaysia with boosting glamorous skyscrapers and colonial architecture. But do you know that urbanization will lead to many problems to this city? With too many inhabitants from rural move to cities, the resources such as accommodation, jobs, food, and others are unable to cope with the increasing population needs. As a result, the government cannot apply a better policy to solve the problems in the city. Apart from that, it will also lead to the problems such as traffic congestion, global warming, greenhouse gas emission, flood, and in turn affect the agriculture and livestock sector. Therefore, urbanization affects the lives of everyone in the social, governance, environmental, and economy aspects. You might think that these effects have negligible influence to you. No, no, no. According to study, Malaysia is one of the most rapidly urbanized regions in the world, and around 78% of the residents live in the city in 2020. So, do you still think that these effects are still too far from you? How can we solve these problems? Some suggested that applying the three R, reduce, reuse, and recycle concept to minimize the effect on the environment. Mm, possible, but today I'm going to suggest implementing the smart city concept. Smart city concept has been adopted by countries such as Singapore, China, Indonesia, and others. There are several smart cities in Malaysia, such as Cyber Smart City, Iskandar Smart City, and Smart Selangor. Ipoh is going to be the next smart city by 2030. What is smart city? A simple explanation is that applying the smart way to solve the city problems. What is the smart way? The smart way is using the technology such as big data, Internet of Things, building information modeling, and others to provide the services in order to address the urban issues. Wow, this is interesting, right? The development of a smart city can bring numerous benefits and opportunities. For instance, Sarah Prinomami had adopted the technology called Smart Parking System, which allowed the shoppers to pay the parking fees, ticketless, and cashless. The shoppers can pay through auto pay station, phone app, or touch and go, which allows the shopper to save more than half of the time in the traditional way. Another example is adopting the technology called Big Data to collect and analyze the data. The data will then be applied in other areas to solve several problems in the city in different aspects and to improve the living standard of the citizens. These technologies can be applied in a few areas such as smart economy, smart living, smart environment, smart people, smart government, smart mobility, and smart digital infrastructure which leading to a smart city. However, there are some challenges of implementing smart cities in Malaysia. According to my research, the poor planning of a city and the inhabitants don't know or are sure about smart city developments are the top two challenges of implementing smart cities. What conclusion can we draw from this? It shows that the attainment of a smart city not just relies on the government only, but also requires the cooperation from the citizens. Therefore, here am I today to tell you what a smart city is. The urban population rate is increasing yearly, and the effects of urbanization are also worsening and affecting the lives of the human. Therefore, the era of smart city is coming soon. Hence, it is important for me, you, and everyone to work together so that Malaysia can move toward a more better and sustainable world. Thank you.